Does that make what Power World's doing right? Not necessarily. Matter of fact, it's very shameful. And I think that that is the word we can use to describe what they're doing is shameful. It's legal, but shameful. Blatant non-creativeness. They just made not Pokemon based on Pokemon instead of basing them on other things like every other Pokemon clone tends to do. You know? There's no creativity, there's no soul outside of the actual, like, gameplay side of it. it it's, it's just dishonest to say this is the entire movement. The designs of Pal World are pretty empty. Like, they don't really aspire to do much except to look like Pokemon. And in that regard, they are successful. Like, the ripoff of the art style is genuinely pitch perfect. They did a very good job with this. They look the way that Pokemon look. But for the same reason, they're not really interesting to me. They're not trying to say or do anything except to remind you of other franchises. You get the novelty of Electric Totoro with a gun, and then once that novelty wears off, there's not really anything else there. If Pal World is your thing, that's fine. I just cannot get interested. You gotta sell me on these guns. You gotta you gotta explain to me why there are weapons like this in this world and why the characters within this world feel compelled to shoot each other as well as the cute Pokemon. Palworld is a creature collection, open world, third person shooter, sandbox, base building game. There's gameplay reminiscent of Ark, Breath of the Wild, Fortnite and Pokemon. Palworld has also been summarized Yes. The legend that you fear, Pokemon with guns. <laughs> Vegeta! No, seriously, you have no idea how old that got. Some people think that Palworld is a plagiarization of Pokemon. However, Pokemon stole the monster capturing concept from Shin Megami Tensei. Pokemon even wants to steal the mechanic of capturing a new monster from Shin Megami Tensei, but instead they just chose violence. Literally, you lower the HP of a Pokemon to increase the catch rate. You beat Pokemon into submission. Turn-based elemental combat was nothing new either. D&D and Dragon Quest both severely predate Pokemon. Oh, but Pokemon designs were original. Yeah, and there's been several times that Nintendo tried to drag people into court for stealing their designs. However, like a fire horse, an ice elemental fox, and a rock bomb, the too basic and generic, Nintendo just couldn't sue, even though like this is blatant plagiarism. Or is it? All these designs predate Pokemon. It would be unhinged to go through every single Pokemon to see if they were plagiarized. There's literally over a thousand. So, just to be quick, let's look at the first generation. C minor, put it in C minor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to dedicate this song to. Pokestands everywhere. Dracu, Fightgeist, Scorpion, Lunatic, Droll Drone, Red Dragon, Chimera, Fat Trap, Rat Scowl, Magmalus, Muddy Hand, Bubble Slime, Heel Slime, Steal It, Rip It, Gotta Plagiarize, Shade, Smog, Miasma, Cobra Kaiser, Chulip, Dragon Fry, Baboon, Goragon, Cyclops, Malroth, Bones of Barmos, Pterodactyl, Mud Mannequin, Hyedra, Tree Fist, Killer Pillar, Betterfly, Merman, Rock Bomb, Toady, Wertaz, Mimic, Scorpion, Fungul, Sabercat, Shell Slime, Holly the Ghost, Decorabia, Whack-A-Mole, Mothra, Godzilla, 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 Godzilla. So the mechanics are stolen, the designs are plagiarized, but at least the iconic capsule, <coughs> I, I mean the iconic Pokeball, is an original design. On a completely different note, here's Bulma. She's a brilliant inventor and adventurer who seeks a set of magical balls which contain a dragon. Now, you might think, this is a stretch. Dragon balls, pokeballs, that's because it is. They are, they're pretty far removed, but what Bulma did introduce in the very first volume of Dragon Ball in 1984 was capsules used to store items such as houses, vehicles, whatever you want. Compare these designs, these capsules, to the ones from Capsule Mon, or, or as it was later rebranded, Pocket Monsters, Pokemon, 
With just a press of a button, the item inside will materialize. You can even put it back into the capsule. If you don't see a similarity, we can just compare a clip from each anime. What's the matter? You're not afraid, are you? Here it goes! There we go! Now doesn't that look cozy? Hey, it's working! Go, Pokemon! So, if we were to continue to use the standard, which Pokestands have been setting up for Pal World, then Pokemon is nothing but plagiarism itself. Most people, especially people in the West, saw Pokemon designs before many other monster designs and many other anime designs. That is the reason why a lot of people refer to Pokemon whenever they see a monster design or an anime creature design, because you saw Pokemon first. Of course, that doesn't excuse making accusations. You could easily do a simple Google search and you could see what a fox looks like. Premise, which um, that is definitely just an Eevee. So I'm going to have to say that it's a borrowed design. I don't think if Eevee didn't exist, they would be able to come to this conclusion. And I think that's going to be what like what this comes down to. I think for 50-50 and borrowed design, if Pokemon didn't already exist, they maybe wouldn't have been able to come to this design conclusion that they did, basically. Really? 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 Release restraint level one. Level what? <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck! Now, the question I want to ask is, why are Pokemon designs upheld as original, and not the Frankenstein part of plagiarism that it is? Why is the standard of what plagiarism is only applied once Pal World is released? Does it have anything to do with Palworld showcasing the flaws of Pokemon and even outselling some of the newest Pokemon games? And why is it a lot of the creators with the distaste of Palworld just so happens to make money of making Pokemon content? When all that is said, there's still no excuse for harassment, no matter how dog shit someone's take is. 